everybody, how are we? Oh, I have a neighbor looking at me. That's very awkward. Okay, I'm just gonna close this door. <laughs> Okay guys, so I have been asked a few times to do this video. Um, basically, it's just my everyday makeup. I don't wear a lot of it and I feel like, because it's been so hot recently, especially this summer, I know obviously we're going into winter now, but we still have a few weeks left. Um, I wear a lot lighter makeup. Oh, I'm very aware that that man is standing up there. I wear a lot of lighter makeup um, in the summer than I would in the winter, obviously because I am quite tanned during the summer. Thank the Lord. Um, so I have been asked by a few people if I would um, put up my music, my music, what is wrong with me? Put up my makeup tutorial on my YouTube and um, because I use quite affordable products. So obviously because I'm not like a makeup artist or anything like that, I don't use expensive products. Um, it's all very affordable in my opinion. Um, nothing I own is like, I think the most expensive thing is um, 15 pound or something I'll, I'll get into that in a minute but yeah this is my makeup routine and now there's two of them on the balcony awesome awesome okay so obviously before i start as i said before i'm not a makeup artist so yeah and i have done makeup videos before where i have stated that i'm not a makeup artist so please don't think that i am because i'm not i'm not I've, I've just been asked to show what i do so i'm going to show what i do okay so this is my simple everyday makeup so I always start with like um, a moisturiser or some sort of cream on as a base. So I really, really want to get the Charlotte Tilbury, is it the Magic Cream or something like that? Um, Jade, when we were going to America, had like a sample of it and it was amazing. But she's expensive. So for the minute, I have this. is the Revolution Miracle Cream. Apparently it's meant to be a knockoff. I like it. I don't like the smell of it. It smells a bit funky, but I do like the cream itself. I'm just gonna also say that I am sweating because I have to close the door because those people are there. And I don't want them to hear me. Oh, I don't really give a fuck up to that. Um, so yeah, basically what I do is I start with that just all over my face. I kind of use it as a primer. Um, oh gosh, it's just nice and thick and I feel like it coats my whole face. But as I said, it has a funky smell to it. I don't even know what the smell is. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. This is also a very like dewy look um, because I usually sweat most of it off during the summer. I like to have it quite dewy. So when I do start to sweat, nobody notices. So while I let that sit for a minute and um, I set my brows, I use this brow gel that I got from Primark or Pennies, depending where you are. It was like two pound or something. So I just run that through my brushes and gets the shape that I want. I have quite big long eyelet brows so I don't like do the whole soap thing. I just like them to be neat. So that's nice. So then I let that obviously do its thing. And I go in next with the, this is the most expensive thing I think I use on my whole face. So it's the Glow Screen by Super Goop. I saw this on Madison Sarah, um, Rachel Leary, Hannah, Renee, like they all use this and I was a bit obsessed with it. And then I, this is tiny and it is only 15 pound, but it does last a long time. You only need a small bit. And when I have a tan on my face, I don't wear foundation. I, If I was gonna wear anything, I'd wear a BB cream, which I actually don't have at the minute because I just have quite dark skin at the minute from, for me. I would use um, a BB cream. I usually use the Garnier one, which you can get in like any sort of drugstore for like less than a fiver. And it's great. Well, I just put it on my hands and rub it in, which I'm going to do with this. This has kind of like a, um, like a bronzy tint. So it's kind of like a BB cream, I think. That's what it looks like on the hand. I got this from Beauty Bay. I got the, I, that's where I got the Revolution Pro skin cream as well. I got it from Beauty Bay. The Revolution Pro I think was seven or eight pound and then this was obviously 15 pound. So what I do is then I rub it in and I just put it on my face with my hands. I would use a sponge but I, I don't really think you need to because I only put a small bit on and I rub it in. Do you see it just kind of gives that glow and it's like the tiniest bit of a tint as well. 
Oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. I'm excited to wear it in the winter when I actually have to wear foundation to put a foundation over it. But for the summertime, that's what I do with my face. See that glow? Oh my god. I'm just obsessed with the glow in the summertime because nobody knows if it's sweat or not and everything's you're glowing and then when you do sweat, nobody notices. Easy peasy. So next what I do is I go in with my wet beauty blender, which I also got from Beauty Bay. I think Beauty Bay is so handy. It's handy if you want to get like bits and pieces that you don't have to like match your skin tone to, obviously because it's online and it all just comes. But yep, this is new. This is just Beauty Bay branded um, beauty blender. And then I go in with a cream contour, liquid contour bronzer situation. So this is also Revolution. <laughs> I so I used to work in a pharmacy before I became a waitress and we had we only had a revolution stand it was the only stand that we had in the pharmacy so I grew up using revolution makeup and that's kind of like the brand like I've always kind of trusted the brand because I've been using it for so long so this is the super dewy liquid bronze in medium to tan I don't know what am I holding this I don't know if you can see that or not but so yeah basically put it on Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bit on the wee nice and just blend it all in. I always, um, when I first started not wearing foundation and started just doing bronzer on my face, it was actually when we were on holidays in America because I do have like a, a NARS foundation and I brought it and then I was like putting it on and I was like, this is just gonna look gross. So I'm lucky enough that I have quite clear skin that I'm not like, so I was like, no, absolutely not. I'm just gonna go bare faced, contour the skin, show the freckles. I know a lot of people that actually have freckles used to be quite um, insecure about them. I don't think I ever, I don't think, not that I didn't care. I don't think it was ever like an issue for me, but now everybody's like drawing them on. So if you ever were insecure about your freckles, just know that People want to be just like ya. I just kind of play around with it until I decided that I like the way it looks. And there it is. Like it's meant to look natural as I said at the start of this video. Like I just try to look as natural as possible. The whole no makeup makeup look. I feel like I've kind of mastered it, I won't lie. I then go in with the Revolution Super Dewy, Super Dewy? Super Dewy Liquid Blush. This is Blushing in Love, this shade. I love this shade. When I first got it, I was like, shit, that's really pink, but it's really grown on me now. And I do quite a bit of it. And I like the whole like um, blushing cartoon bronze look. I also put a bit on my forehead and just on my chin to just make it more natural. And then you just dab. I honestly love these products and I really do recommend them. My biggest issue when I watched um, like makeup tutorials would be like I didn't research my skin and like the shades and stuff I would just get what they use and obviously that's just silly so if we're not the same skin tone do look at the products but obviously make sure you're not wasting your money getting stuff that like is too dark for you, too pink for you, too this that and the other you know? Look at that, see you wouldn't, not being funny now, you wouldn't really think that I had any sort of, hold on I'll hold you more to the natural light. And just add more if you want. I might just add a little bit more of the blush. If I can find it. Oh, just on the cheeks. Oh, yeah. And like you're just constantly glowing. Oh my god, I love that. Lovely. See? Really natural, really glowy. Yeah. Okay, so after that. This is the part where I would do my eyebrows with my Anastasia pen that I got on sale. So this was like £12. But obviously when I came home from Belfast, I didn't put the lid on properly. Oh, why? Okay, it seems to be slightly working. Oh, I use shade blonde. I, this is, <laughs> duh. I use shade blonde. I, I, I wasn't too sure if I actually liked the shade or not. But it's growing on me and just... Fill your brows in. This is really quite um, light, but it does kind of fill your brows in. 
very well so they look really full i'm a fan i think she's okay are you okay hopefully if we just keep the lid on i ran her under the top and she seems to be coming out okay so, so yeah just kind of fill it in until you're happy with it i can't do this on camera i have to be over here <laughs> i don't like big thick brows because i actually do have quite thick brows that if i draw them on too thick they just look awful but um, I was using a different eyebrow pen that my mom got from America. And I will go and hunt it down because it was the best brow pen I've ever used. I'm also sweating. <laughs> I mean, the dewy looks doing well, but I am sweating my eyes off. But yeah, just basically fill your brows in until you're happy with it. I do actually like this pen a lot. I'm just not really sure on the colour. Um, it looks okay because it's like dried out. But this is the kind of colour it is. Yeah. But yeah, then get your brows. And if I wasn't like going anywhere, I wouldn't really put eyeshadow on. So I'm like, will I put it on now? Maybe I'll put like a brown thing on because I will just show you quickly. So depending on where I'm going and what I'm wearing, but I'm usually like a brown girl, I kind of keep it safe with just a brown. Sometimes I'll use a bronzer. Um, like if I had a powder bronzer, I can't find mine at the minute. Um, I would use that. But at the minute I'm going to use the So Sumi, um hot fire smoky eye palette and i'll use just maybe this heat one mixed with this spark it doesn't really matter i'm not going anywhere <sighs> but i would only do like a really light quick sweep over the eyebrow and just kind of yeah i have absolutely no technique to applying anything as you could probably tell it's probably painful to watch the people that know what they're doing but yeah Ta -da. It's just to give you some sort of colour so you don't look crazy. Then what I do is I go in and I curl my lashes. This is just from Primark again. Mm, hold on. <laughs> my friend Lauren, I wonder if she's watching this, um, is really afraid of these. Lauren, if you're watching this, be scared. Ooh, She's afraid all her lashes will come off. To be fair, when I was younger, I borrowed my mother's old one of these. And I don't even know why she, she had it because she was like, oh, I don't use that. Like, it's broken. I was like, who keeps that then? But um, basically, it didn't have the sponge part in here. And it just had this metal part and it just cut my lashes. It was not a vibe. That was a bad day for everybody. But yeah, then you go in and you're nice and curled. And then I go in with the 3D lash effect. Also from Primark. I used to use, was it the, I don't have it here, the Telescop telescopic mascara I, I can't even remember l'oreal or something like that but i didn't like it at all it was clumpy and this is kind of like it without the clumps my lashes are still recovering from a botched um lash lift i gave myself I, they've never been as bad as they were this time but i don't know they just curled so weird and then they were all like nah they just hated me it wasn't a vibe but yeah this was like four pound or something i always think everybody gives out about penny's makeup or primark makeup but i'm a fan if they have one fan it is me i won't lie every now and then you have to go in with a beauty blender if you're sweating the way i am and then for my lips i like to keep it as i said really normal so i use this is called foxy nude can you guess where it's from also primark i think it was like a pound i just kind of yeah like line my lines really line my lips really gently and um, because obviously you don't want big dark lips on a natural sort of um look because i think that would look really weird so yeah i just kind of fill outline and fill in with this so then depending where i'm going i'll either go in with this which is the two faced um lip inject <laughs> two faced lip injection extreme lip gloss christ that was hard um but i'm i'm not really in the mood to be in pain today so then i'll just go over with like a normal um lip balm yeah so then i'll just put the aqua aqua far aqua four lip protection squeeze a bit of that oh rub it on yeah you want to do one more little dip dab with your blender and you are done obviously if you want to be less natural add more and do your own bits and pieces but this is how i get my natural everyday look and the products i use ta-da it's really really simple really quick really easy um yeah and i genuinely could not recommend the products i use enough i'm a huge fan as i said 
that's kind of it <laughs> i really hope you enjoyed this video um shout out to lauren and Graf for asking me to do this um please let me know if you have any sort of tips or tricks makeup wise leave it in the comment section please like subscribe all that beautiful things and i will see you in my next video thanks guys